All right, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I feel like we only post on our channel and it has to do with both of us, so our YouTube channel. But today we're doing, and at this point you guys already know the big secret. What's the secret? I don't know, you tell me. I forgot the secret. Me too. <laughs> that we're having a baby. What? So. That's news to me. Okay. <laughs> you were the one that was so excited to make this video. I know. He was so excited. I don't know how you can look at this light. So, it is bright. It's evening time, and we kind of were rushed to make this video because we're actually taking an early gender test, an early gender blood test within the next couple days. So we figured we need to hurry and do these old wives tales so that we can always look back on it. And who knows, it might be right. Sometime. I feel like it's going to be very split. I, I, I feel like it's going to be about 50-50. That's <laughs> probably the chance that we have. 50% right. chance of having a boy, 50% chance of having a girl. So we have a list of 15 different ones. I'll, I'll pan it at the end. Um, and we're just going to put a check, a blue check, buy it if boy wins, and a pinkish purple check, buy it if girl wins. So I will pull this up on my computer <clears throat> I like how the first one is dad's weight are you calling me that <laughs> hey that's what I found online oh that's the first one okay so have you maintained weight or have you gained weight in know. the last 10 weeks I haven't checked well you better go check oh are you know. drastically different or are you the same um, you can't look same. at this and decide no I'm about the same okay so you're about the same so your weight like, what are we doing like a plus or minus five no sure like, cause like we gotta get like, you know, an average plus or minus five. Okay, so, so have you gained five pounds? No. So you've maintained? I pretty much have maintained. Okay, so From that two means- Two or three plus or minus five. Okay, maintaining weight means boy. So put a blue check, but that's also not fair cause we're pretty early on like, well, some of these that I saw and I don't think we did it, don't wipe it off. I'm all... Blue check or cross or whatever you wanna do. Like some of these, it's like, how am I carrying? And at this point, I'm not carrying anyway. So I don't think we added that one. But the second one we have is the Chinese calendar. And I believe, based on this, it was a girl. But Chinese gender calendar. But we'll put it in just in case. These are all things that I, I double check her that map. I had never heard of prior to obviously becoming pregnant. So the Chinese gender predictor, you use your the the mom's date of birth and the date of conception. So the month the baby was conceived, March. How old was I? Twenty seven. A boy! Supposedly it's a boy. So the Chinese calendar says we're having a boy. Okay, so the Chinese gender predictor, Chinese gender calendar says we are having boy. a boy. This one is dependent on the month you conceived, which was March, and how old you were, how old the mom was in that month. I was 27. So based on those two factors, the Chinese gender predictor says it's a boy. What's the next one? Mom's, Mom's guess. guess. I don't know if this even means anything, but I genuinely think we're having a boy. And I feel like the reason for that, and I wanna share with you guys, is I was the first girl born into my side of the family in 60 years. And then on Jacob's side of the family, all of his cousins are boys he has girl cousins, but they've all been adopted into the family. So I feel like our chances are so much more likely of having a boy. So that's just my gut feeling. I just always imagine myself as a boy mom. Boy mom. Uh, okay, so we have a couple that involve urine. So for those of you that don't want to see urine, you're going to want to skip the end, but we're going to skip through those and do all the sit down ones first. And then we will do those last three. So we're gonna do one that involves baking soda, one that involves Drano, and one that involves a red cabbage mixed with urine. I'm making Jacob do them are too because- Are you having cabbage stew? <laughs> Yuck. 
I'm making Jacob do it too because if I have to pee in a cup, so does he. And I think it will be cool to see if it actually is different. You know? I guess. So the next <clears throat> one is the Mayan system. I've never heard of this one. I heard about it on another YouTube video. So it's the Mayan gender system. The Mayan chart. Okay, <clears throat> so the Mayan gender predictor, you do your age at conception, month of conception, and it'll tell you your gender. So basically, if you get an even and an even, it's a girl. If you get an odd and an odd, it's a girl. If you get an even and an odd, it's a boy. If you get an odd and an even, it's a boy. So my age at conception was 27, which is odd. The month of conception was March, which Fuck. is the fourth, fourth month. Third March month. is fourth? The third month. It's wow. odd. I was like, so yeah, odd, I was like, odd. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So odd, odd is girl. Uh-oh. Got a girl. The Mayans, it, but they're wrong in 2012. <laughs> so we have three marks for boy and one mark for girl so far. The next okay. one is mom's dreams. And I'm not quite sure what this means because I haven't really like had vivid dreams, but I've always dreamt I would be. <laughs> Do you smell the cabbage? Yeah, it doesn't smell that great. No. I always dreamt I would be a boy mom, but let's see what this says. Mom's dreams. I think that's kind of just like the mom's guess. Yeah, that's right? what I Right, because if think you're too. like, if you're like thinking like, oh, I think I'm having a boy, then your dreams will kind of be like boy driven, maybe? Yeah, I think mom's dreams is just going to be... Another guess? Another or, guess. Or what are you guessing? I think boy. I haven't had any dreams it would be a girl yet. I never remember my dreams. I'm, I remember mine. Ooh, the ring test. We need Ooh. to, so we, no, don't use my hair. We're gonna use a string. I don't have any string. Don't pull my hair out. Go, there's string up in the uh, cabinet. The cabbage smells awful. It smells terrible. <laughs> Leave ya. This next one is a ring on a string or a necklace. So I have my wedding ring on this necklace and I wanna double check to make sure we get it right. If you want to try the ring gender test, all you need is to place a ring on a string or a necklace. It says, traditionally the expectant mom's wedding band. Lie on your back and have your partner or friend dangle the thread over the baby bump, allowing it to move in whatever motion comes organically. If the ring moves back and forth like a pendulum, it's a boy. If it moves in a circle, it's a girl. Okay. So... You're gonna hold it. I'll be your friend. Or spouse. Oh, it's it spouse? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, over my bump that's not so existent yet. Okay. Wait, I want it to be not moving. Okay, it's not moving. What if it doesn't move? That's a good question. I don't know if it's because I'm a chain. It has it's too moving. much. Well, it's moving because my hand's moving. How's that supposed to move? Well, yeah, but you're always gonna have. That's back and forth for sure. I'm not moving. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Lift it up a little bit because I don't want it to hit my shirt. No, it needs to be close to the baby. I don't know. How, how's it supposed to go in a circle? I've seen it before. Like how much like of a circle? Like literally in a circle. Well, I don't know. I think it's going back and forth. Can you guys see? Nothing. Now it's moving because I've moved my head. I don't know. This one's inconclusive, I think. I think it's back and forth. I feel like it's going back and forth, but I've definitely used to do it on myself with my hair, like a piece of my hair. See, that's why I'm saying chain might have a little too much like... Weight? Weight. It's a very light chain. It's a light chain, but... You know, it's got, it's... I don't know. What did it say? It said boy for pendulum. So, why don't you put a blue check with a question mark? Because if it comes down to a tiebreaker based Green on just... Check. There you go. Green is... Questionable. Inconclusive. 
Okay, beauty. So this one, apparently, if the mom is having like skin problems, the dot like you're having a girl because your daughter's stealing your beauty. But if you have like glowing skin and no skin issues, you're having a boy, apparently. I have had breakouts around my chin. See? Boys can't be beautiful? They can, but they don't steal the mom's beauty. Whose beauty do they steal? They just have their own. Oh, they're just born with it. Yeah. I know, I was born like this. So thing. I would say, like, I have had some more breakouts than normal. So, girl. Uh, okay. Uh, beauty is a girl. Belly shape. That's my favorite one. Because you don't really have a belly. Okay, so belly shape. Six pack of shape. Wide means it's a girl. Round means it's a boy. I don't really, well, it's nighttime and we just ate dinner. Here's my 10 week bump. I, I wouldn't know. say it's any wider than normal. I agree, so we're going with blue. It's more round than normal, but I'm not wider yet. But again, we're so early. Morning sickness. Uh, I, I think that what I've read it means like if you're puking. Yeah, so you like, I never puked. But I then didn't again, feel... even knowing you, like you wouldn't even puke. You'd be like, I'm not gonna puke, I'm not gonna puke. And then you'd I just hate be there. puking. <laughs> I was so terrified of morning sickness. Like that was my biggest fear. And for two weeks, I didn't feel great. Mm -hmm. Like all day, but I never puked. So it says morning sickness, like sick sick means girl. No morning sickness means boy. Boy. So boy, we have a lot of boys on here. If we have a girl, I'm gonna be so shocked. Well, I don't know, we got two and a questionable. <laughs> so the next one is the baby's heart rate. And I'm gonna check this one because I've only gone based on what I've heard. So if it's over 140 beats per minute, you're having a girl. If it's under 140, you're having a boy. So our baby's heartbeat at our first appointment was 157, which would be girl. Yes. But we've only had one appointment. Our next one is in a week and a half. So we'll see. But we'll probably know the gender by then. Cravings. cravings. Let's see. So for cravings, if they're sweet cravings, it's a girl. If they're salty cravings, it's a boy. What have I been craving? You are just always craving salty. So, but always. But it's always. She just loves salt. Like even before I was pregnant. So does that like mean, I've never been a huge sugar person. Does but that mean you're just like but an if I, but if I was but then your mom was. But if I was craving sugar, that would be weird. So I would really believe it. But I feel like I've been craving salt more. Because normally I'm pretty good about being like, oh, I shouldn't have too much salt. But yeah. I need it. <laughs> headaches? I have had headaches. A lot. So what does that mean? Mm. Headaches. No headaches means girl. Headaches means boy. Is it because we're pains in our moms? Yeah, you're a pain in my butt. <laughs> in my <All> head. <laughs> All right. Now we get to the good ones. Okay, so now we're going to move to the kitchen. So far, before the urine ones, we are at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half boys, and one, two, three girls. So the girls can't even win. Three and a half. And a half. The girls can't even win. But you're saying there's a chance. There is a chance. Of course, there's some little chance. But, so you're I saying swear there's we're a having chance. a boy. Like if we're having, if we have a girl, I'm gonna. Yeah, and then. He and or she is gonna watch this video and like they're gonna be mad at me. And be like, I thought you were gonna have a boy. <laughs> yeah. You okay. wanted a boy. You didn't even want me. Okay. So do we know the answer to these? Let's look it up. Baking soda test. We'll do first. So apparently, with the baking soda test, you miss you mix equal parts baking soda with urine. I don't understand who who, it, who decided be, these. Why does it have to be equal? I don't Can't know. Can't you just like pour it in? Okay, it says, um, our dogs are wrestling in the background. Why are you sitting so far away from me? Do you hate me? I'm not that far. I'm, I'm within a There's bubble. There's a Bible Do distance you... between us. Yeah. <laughs> Kids, Bible spaces. Or else you'll end up like us. Pregnant. With a baby. <laughs> Touching 
guys want to know how babies are made, it's touching the other partner. Okay, interpreting the results. One of two things will happen when the baking soda and urine mix. The urine will either fizz or it will stay the same. Okay. If the urine fizzes, then folklore regarding the baking soda test says the woman's carrying a boy. So if it fizzes, we're having a boy. If it doesn't fizz, we're having a girl. I get that baking soda like... Always fizzes? Yeah. And what was the Drano? If it was red, yellow, or stays the same color, you're having a girl. Any other color, you're having a boy. And then let's look up the red cabbage. That one smells awful. Our house is gonna smell like cabbage. People say this is the oddest of them all. I mean, come on. Adding a pregnant woman's bodily fluids to boiled cabbage water? I That's know. what we thought too. I, like, like, who decides this? Whoever was like, hey, let's, let's try it. It says that people swore by this prediction. So basically what we have is cabbage boiling in water to get the color out. And it is blue. It's blue. And like dark purpley blue. So basically what we're going to do is, is we are going to be hot. We're not the using water? the cabbage. The water can be hot. Well, I don't know. That might be Oh, it right. says let it cool. Ah. Go remove it from the heat. Off. Okay, while Jacob is removing the cabbage from the heat, it says in a separate disposable cup, mix one part cabbage water with one part urine. And let's see. How do we find the results? Okay, if the liquid is pink to red, you're having a boy. If the color is purple, it's a girl. I don't know. Has anyone ever boiled like red cabbage before? That is the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen in my the entire color? life. Yeah. It's so weird. Like. Okay, let's hop in the kitchen and we'll do these. We have our urine. Can you tell who's more hydrated? <laughs> I was driving all day. So gross. When you drive truck all day. I know. Then. Okay, we got our trusty urine. Stop. Oh, our trusty Drano. <laughs> trusty urine too. Got our Drano. It said Drano crystals. I've never seen that or heard of that, so we just got Drano. You get what you can get. <laughs> and then we have our baking soda. So we've already separated it all. We'll do... Me. The soda first? Yeah, don't use all your pee. You don't have much. Ready? Don't use all your urine. As a hyper You just need to like... Yours is definitely fizzing. But not like. It's not like going off like a science experiment. Like, I don't think that that would be considered fizzing. Like, I don't know. It was bubbling when you put it well, in. Mine's not even really bubbling. Well, it's bubbling now. But not like a science experiment. Yeah, it so said like a science experiment. Well, I am a boy. I think. <laughs> so you, mine did the same thing as yours. Yeah. So, and girl? It boy? said girl. Boy was fizzing. So you're having a girl! You're having a girl. I thought that was just a food <laughs> weight. I, okay, this is disgusting. So what do yeah. we do? <laughs> I think we dump it down the toilet. So we have our Drano here. Baking soda, would you say was a girl? Yeah, I'll say it's a girl. Okay, don't use all that or you're gonna have to go again. I'm gonna have to go again. Okay, so. Or we're only getting two shots at this. Ready? <laughs> Nothing is happening. It's literally just separated. We have Drano and P. Mine's even separated. It's not even changing colors. It said if it doesn't change color, that was a girl. Yeah, but you'd imagine if you used a boy one, then it would. I don't know. Ours are both doing literally the exact same thing. Well, I don't know. Mine's getting a little darker. But, it's but yours started darker. <laughs> that is true. I think it has to be a certain type of Drano. I think it has to be those I crystals. I think that they, this is all dumb. Also, what is yours doing over here? I don't know. It's like bubbling. Getting absorbed. Okay. Okay. You're gonna have to go to the bathroom again. No, nope, I'm not doing it again. You're not doing the cabbage one? No. It's kind of melting the cup. But here is our cabbage water pre.
prior to adding urine. So, was it blue or pink? What color does it look like to you? I don't know. Black, like soul. like dark blue, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's check this out. Purple. Wow. Wow, that's weird. Is that equal parts? I think so. What's purple mean? I don't remember. I don't know if they can even see that. I would imagine purple is being a girl. Like it's very, I can't remember. It's very pink All right. compared okay. to what it was. So uh, if the liquid is pink to red, having a boy, if the color is purple, it's a girl. Is this purple Let me see it. or pink? Well, I would purple. say it's more purple. That's purple, so it's a girl. Okay, so bring that, ca bring that chart over. Okay. The only one I would say conclusively is that one. Is that one the, the cabbage other ones test? Were green. <laughs> yeah. So either way, we have more boy than girl. So are you are doing green? Are we no, we better do. What? I think they're pink. I mean, it did something. It just didn't do much. I don't know. I guess. So we're going with pink. Yeah, I think they all turn, I think they all vote pink. So what does this put us at? Bring it over here. Okay. Okay, here is our final answer. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Blue. Wow, that was a bad eight. eight. Snowman eight. Eight, blue. Eight for boy. And one. Two, three, four, five, six for girl. So. Oh, wait, you missed one. What? Yeah, let me see it. Point. Five? On both of them? Yeah, because it's, it's a mystery. Point. But those five. cancel each other out. Right? See, so you have 8.5 and 6.5. So. Final results. According to. <laughs> The wives' tales, we're having a boy. So, we shall see. Soon to What soon is the father's guess? I know, that's what I was wondering. I literally was just thinking that. Careful, there's glass over there. Tell you the truth, I'm going to have a girl. You know why? Why? Because A. It's because all football coaches all have girls. All football have coaches girls. have girls. <laughs> and that's just, that's just a fact. So... We will keep you guys up to date. We're gonna try and document the whole blood testing too. So, according to the wives' tales, Newtons are having a baby boy. But, we shall see. Stay tuned. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe so you don't miss any of our channels. And I would love to hear in the comments down below if you have tried any of these and if they did or did not work for you. Talk to you guys later. Peace.